evening. The first question is, can you suggest changes to the U.S. tax code that would help the average citizen and help the federal government pursue the goals in helping the economy? The question again is, can you suggest changes to the U.S. tax code that would help the average citizen and help the federal government pursue its goals in helping the economy? We'll start with Mr. Blevins. Um, I believe that uh, before we make any changes to the U.S. tax code, we first need to make changes to the federal spending habits going on in Washington, D.C. Uh, we do need to cut spending um, so as to provide more fiscal strength which is a part of national security. Um, once we rein in the actual spending in Washington, we can then look at ways uh, to reform the way in which we subsidize our federal government. I want to see, there's several programs or options available to us. I think any cuts that we, uh, or any changes we make to the system need to be fair uh, to all Americans and not, not just uh, certain segments of uh, society, but again, all Americans should receive uh, tax cuts simply because all Americans who are paying taxes deserve to keep more of the money they make. Um, some of the changes or ideas that are out there are the national sales tax which needs to be looked at. Uh, there are also uh, uh, options for uh, equal taxes as well. Thank you, Mr. Bocheri. Thank you. Thank you for the question. And uh, right now, uh, we have implemented uh, some tax reforms uh, through the stimulus package and others that target that are targeted for small businesses and for working families. In fact, the tax rates this year are the lowest they've been since Truman was in office in 1950. Uh, we've gone after certain things in the tax code. Number one, how we stimulate jobs and help our economy is we've closed the tax loopholes that give our big corporations a pat on the back and your tax dollars to ship their jobs overseas. That's the first thing we've done. We've also targeted small businesses with net operating loss carrybacks and reducing those taxes for small businesses. We've increased uh, the child uh, credits that are available for working families. And also, I have gone with a bipartisan approach uh, to, re to reduce uh, or to give a huge tax credit for research and development that's done right here in the United States and an added benefit so that they do that manufacturing in the United States. We've led every technological revolution, and this tax break can help us move our economy forward. Thank you, Mr. Renacci. Can I have a question again? Yes. Can you suggest changes to the U.S. tax code that would help the average citizen and help the federal government pursue its goals in helping the economy? That's what I thought the question was. Look, I'm a CPA, and I can tell you the tax code is extremely complicated. There are nine items on your tax return that most individuals don't even understand. And I can tell you I've sat in front of IRS agents who don't understand many of the line items also. So we do need simplification. We need to be able to simplify the tax form. We need to be able to simplify it for the individual who prepares it. But ultimately, and there are, there's a number of options that we can look at, um, but ultimately, the tax, the, the simplification should amount in a net tax reduction. Because today, we need to be able to get our economy going. One of the things I'm a believer in is that we need less taxes. We need to be able to reduce our tax liability on corporations and on individuals so that we can get the economy going back, get corporations to be able to hire people. And we do have to simplify it. There's line items, there's deductions, there's multiple opportunities to add numbers into these line items. And again, most IRS agents and most CPAs and most people who prepare the return don't understand that complicated tax return. Thank you. Mr. Ross? Uh, thank you for the opportunity to be here tonight. Um, what I am is probably a little more unusual. I'm the candidate that would fit most closely, none of the above. I'm interested in taxes in regards to the impact it would have on the constituents in this district. I would be interested in integrating that into a program that I would like to see integrated into our current system of a comprehensive development plan. I would like to get together not only our tax issues, but our economic development, environmental, any number of problems we're currently facing, put that before a committee of experts 
have them decide how can we integrate our current <coughs> federal tax situation in state and local and have them come up with that as part of our general comprehensive plan. I think that's going to do us definitely more good than just some uh, generic tax program that's not going to get passed in Congress.